All right, well, it's time to see how our taps are doing. So I've got these two in here that I drilled just the other day, and we emptied these out last night, and then today haven't touched them yet. So it's about 5 p.m., so we're looking at, you know, most of a day's yield, but definitely before it gets dark, this one would be overflowing, and I'm assuming that this other one here has about the same amount. So let's check on that. Oh, no, that's completely full already. So clearly uh, I've got some good taps here. Have the slightest amount of leaking on both of these taps here, but you know, it's hard to get it exactly perfect. And if I'm pulling in already a gallon from the day, I'm not disappointed. We'll go ahead and get these switched out. All right, and just this morning I was out here fixing the tap right over here. And that's that other video I put out here just a few days ago. So, taking a look, we've got about a half a gallon in this one, and a little bit more than a half a gallon in this one. So definitely we're, we're getting some, so, you know, we, we uh, averted a, a loss there. So, I'll have to just be careful that I don't jostle this too much whenever I swap out these jugs, but we're definitely doing pretty well. Go ahead and collect these up too. Alright, you've collected your sap, and it's time to get boiling. Well, not quite or at least you don't have to yet. So another option you have to reduce the sap into syrup is to freeze it. So whenever you're talking about sugar water, you're actually looking at you know, water that's gonna have a higher boiling point as well as a lower freezing point than water does by itself. We can usually freeze them in our deep freeze for about three hours or so. So usually we try and get this to where it's at least half frozen so then we don't spend nearly as much time boiling as we would have otherwise. Uh, the only disadvantage, of course, then, is that your container then has a chunk of ice in it that you've got to get rid of. If it's a cold night, like tonight, I think it's supposed to get down to about 25 degrees. I'm going to set these out where we've still got some snow that'll help cool their temperatures down. And I'm just going to let those freeze outside. I don't have to do anything about it, uh, except for in the morning, come out and then pour off what's liquid. Even if they freeze all the way through, we just let them melt by about half and then that liquid that's melted will be what we want so we'll get that put into our pots in order to get it boiled if you're looking to reduce the amount of time you've got to boil definitely using freezing is the way to go so let's get these set up for tonight morning everyone time to check on these i think they're frozen solid so yep so we'll bring these inside, get them thawing. We actually got a fifth one from combining the two sap buckets that were over here at that far tree. I haven't checked the other one over here yet, but we do want to get these in, get them out of the sun. The sun can actually make these sour. We also try and reduce how much fridge space we're using with all of this. So this is what we've got reduced down so far. We're also fortunate enough to have a large deep freeze here that we can fit five gallon buckets in. So we went ahead and put one in here last night. All right, nice big chunk of ice on top here. All right, well, we've got the fire roaring, so we've got the sap warmed up up here. And I've went ahead and thawed this out, so I'll go ahead and get this poured in. You can hear that ice in there. And just to be clear, there is some amount of usable sugar in that ice. So this is just a good effective solution if you want to get more syrup out of what you've got without going and buying more pots to boil with or an evaporator or anything like that. If you're just trying to get more out of what you've already got, this is the way to go. So I hope this has given you a good idea if, if freezing is the way you want to go. Thanks for watching.